ride for my niggas, I ride for my niggas, die for my niggas, I ride for my niggas, die for my niggas, I ride for my I think hip hop can be the ultimate tool to get people to to see the use in getting involved in their communities just because it, it unites all of us. Um, people that people that you have never thought to speak to listen to the same artists that you do. Um, and it really just shows that we're all the same and I think and I think that can bring forth empathy and I think empathy is the main the main ingredient in all. And like the difference between somebody who was desensitized to, to the death of, of bodies that look like them, or, or somebody who is um, somebody who feels it so heavily that they go out and do work. So I think um, hip hop is a connector between people, especially black people, especially young people, and um, so I think I think. That's what I think. <laughs> don't be shy, don't be shy. Yeah. Walk, first cat ripping the X, that's not ripping the set, but still getting respect. Not ripping the steel, but still getting this rep. High stepping on steel, to not missing a step. Walk, see, break back, pulling a press, my shit full of effect, no shit full of effect. You jump shit, making a man, you could make it a mess. Please follow my lead, bow down and conceive. My ish make her believe, bow down on the seed. I spit out of my split, out of my split, out of my knee before the apple was even out of the tree. So that was like, I spit Adam, I split Adams, I split Adam and Eve before the apple was even out of the tree. I think this was great. I appreciate the fact that. Rebel Diaz came down. I appreciate the fact that so many other people came down and participated. The community turned out. They were all around. They were in their windows. They were in the doors. They were sitting on the steps. Uh, the young people had a good time. This was a positive action and a positive educational action because some education, some consciousness was raised also. So I think that's worth all of the effort that we put in because what we're trying to do we're trying to put the neighbor back in the hood and then we're trying to make the hood strong enough to fight off the other hoods. And, and tell me the importance of bringing the food because I saw, I saw earlier in, in the event you was you know putting together bags of food and everybody's coming mm -hmm. by. Why, why is that important? It's important because one of the things that happens is that all in all too many cases these communities, the communities that we come from down on the ground are in food deserts and they have to go to like stores that charge extreme amounts of money for poor quality food and uh, the money don't stretch that far so what we try to do is get fresh food try to get the best food we can get and we try to supplement whatever we can to help the people in the community until we can stand up a food co-op in this neighborhood and that's what we're in the process of doing now and the culture, why the culture? Why was it important to bring the speakers out and, and bring all these different bands? Well, it's important to understand that we all got a common struggle, we all got a common enemy, and we all got a common goal. We want to be free. And so that divide and conquer thing that they used 30, 40, 50, 100 years ago is no longer valid now. Because my struggle is the struggle of all the other communities and all the other people that are struggling on whatever level they are. It's related to the same thing I'm struggling about, and that's the freedom and freeing the planet and freeing the people and freeing the resources so that we can live a wonderful life. You heard it from the OG, Eddie Conway. I feel like this music, especially the songs we play, are, are definitely um, relevant and they're, they're songs and records that people can connect to and relate to. Like, um, you know, Belly Full, the, the message in that song alone, you know what I'm saying? Like, Belly Full, What We Hungry, you know, is, it's, it's a reflection of our current environment um, in terms of, you know, you look at certain neighborhoods, you got food deserts, like, we hungry, you know what I'm saying? Right. They're Belly Full, but we're hungry. Honestly, 
I'm from the county. Okay. So okay. this this is actually this, an experience. That's you. You that we doing the same thing. Yeah. Okay. You know. So this is definitely. I moved in the city like a year and a half ago. I got to really be face to face with stuff I never knew about. And to have everybody and look around and see what they go through really affects me personally, but interpersonally. And I'm glad I can connect with them through the music because that's universal. So, yeah. so, yeah. so, so thank you so much. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. My brother. Respect to y'all. Hey, y'all music. <laughs> I mean, I got the call from Real News. Um, we've been partners for a while, um, so it's always, always love when they reach out. So I came through, did my thing, met back up with y'all, um, and it was dope. It was dope. That's what's up. Oh, we need, we need stuff like this in the community. It's like the live band was out. You got the children running around. They're giving out free everything. Like, it's about time somebody just coming to one of the. A real bad neighborhood and actually just show love because Baltimore don't get any love in any of the bad neighborhoods. You're only downtown, you know, where they protect the stuff at. <laughs> because the mayor and the Not president here. called everybody thugs. There's no thugs out here. No this one's is fighting. children and people. We all Nobody's families. out here. This is the middle of the project. If you show the project's you see any thugs, love, there's love out here. You show the project's love, they show so much back. That's, that's the thing. If the police don't show love, we gonna give them what they show us. They show us no respect, we gonna get no respect back And the city them. not doing anything for these type of communities at all, so I think it's real good that it's done individually by different organizations rather than depending on the city to do this thing, so. You're in, um, at the University of Wisconsin-Madison as part of the first wave program, right? So yeah, tell us yeah. a bit about, about that. From my understanding, it's like a hip hop program, yeah, almost, right? Almost, yeah, pretty tell, much. Tell us a bit about that. Uh, so basically, what First Wave does is every year they recruit up to 15 students from around the country to uh, come to the University of Wisconsin Madison, and um, basically what they're looking for is activism, arts, and academics, and um, basically they're just finding the, the dopest kids, and dopest, you know thinkers, the dopest artists, and the dopest students from around the country and um, helping us come together, you know, help us develop to the next level artists, you know, to make profit off of that and even just to just be confident amongst, the, you know, ourselves because a lot of kids come in, you know, you may be artists, but, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the teachers we're working with are next level too, so, like, you know, we always learn and always get information from that, but really it's just, it was just an opportunity to get to a Division One school for doing something that you're passionate about and something that can change the world. Garden's on garbage, open your skin, gotta deny you, breathe that shit in. Either you sink or you swim, life too short so I sleep in the gym, cooling with Kanzu, moon is the man, travel the sky if I need to reband. Two more bars and I'm free from the Zans, pigs on dummy, can't listen to them. Free all the guys, keep the ops locked in. I wonder if a brother wrote a sentence for them. A sentence ain't shit if you stuck in the pen, but depending on who you ask, they'll pass you a ball point. I'm moving low key, but I'm living with the tall boys. Y'all boys, need to get your life on straight. Say they talking about what the next nigga say. But say what you want if you stacking your plate. Yeah, I understand like shit, why wait? Be humble, be safe, and thank God you awake. Cause the shy city blues make another bloody day. Like really, you be standing where another man lay. My team like a tree, goddamn, we so great. Keep all the green in my pocket, we safe. Might move to Cleveland just to see the heat wave. Team no slave, see no problem. Probably go blind when I see that dollar. Soul on fire saying sire to the number. Funny you a dummy, but you still claim scholar. Rap more Gucci and roll more Prada. Story of the son that don't know his father. Born in the crack skin, weighed in the water. Ain't shit to do, so I plan on the slaughter. Make a couple moves, make a couple meal. Hold my breath to see how shit feel. God's grace and everything we make. Only spit truth when I see shit fake. When I see shit fake. Only spit truth when I see shit fake. God's grace and everything we make. Only spit truth when I see shit fake. When I see shit fake. Only spit truth when I see shit fake. Can't let your soul let loose. Blue and white boys might buy you a noose. Blow up your bed, then they call for a truce. All seeing I might see what you do. Evil is the Irish, the idol is you. Except the truth and they call that shit news. Cool, can't blame the shit on the youth, dude. It's condos built before schools. Rom, changing the eyes of the new Tron. It's Adam and Attica for Adam and African. American and hell bound to heaven. Sent indigenous and Mexicans. They never seen the reverend but rhetoric. Nigga, cause I'm still in development, so pass me the medicine. Say I'm still in development, so pass me the medicine. Sick with the testament. <laughs>